And we are wrestling with AEW Qual in 2023. It's tomorrow. You could t- you could cut the tension with a knife. Um, it takes place um, in London, uh, English, in Wheatley Stadium. It's gonna be in front of 80 billion. So that's cool. Um, and um, yeah, I can't help but think that um, you know, 80 million people, and um, you could basically say this is a. Uh, I'm just gonna say, it. you could say this is a porno because they're fucking those people. I mean, you said 80 million people. That's a lot of traffic. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's a lot of goddamn traffic. It take people three days just to get to the fucking stadium parking lot. Do people in England even drive? Yes, on the wrong side of the road. Hmm. So lots of um, accidents. No, they actually drive better than most Americans. <laughs> Skinner, as a whole, what do you think about this card? I think, I think I'd rather take a stink face from uh, from Michael Nakazawa. Ah, uh, <laughs> Kaliko. Uh, oh, no, continue. Yeah, no, no, I'm no. Go on, go to Kaliko. I'm. I mean, what you expect? They wasn't going to put all the big guns. They wasn't going to put all the big guns out there. That's for Chicago. That just yeah. goes to show no matter where they go, where they go is going to fuck around and go back to Chicago. I mean, next week's pay per view is the more important one. Payback. No, all out. Well, let's get into it. Stadium Stampede, Edward Kingston, Chucky T. Trent. Orange should have been with Juice Cassidy. Penta L Zero, uh, Me Edo. Um, Del Wrestling, The Combat Wombats, Max Oxillon, uh, Claudio Ida Canoli. Wheel Lord George, oh, Wheel Lord George, Yuda George Wheel Lord, thank you. Um, Sonata and Ortiz. Who wins the uh, match? Sure. The fact that uh, he's now going by Mike Santana. Uh, by the way, uh, you people might have heard that it was Santana. No, it's actually it's actually Bo Dallas because he looks so much like Bo Dallas. But now Bo Dallas don't look like Bo Dallas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, now but now Bo Dallas doesn't look like Bo Dallas. Yes, um, this match needs to take place under the guidelines they have established for the Stadium Stampede mode for the Fight Forever game. Okay, it, which means it needs to take place, uh, you know, as if it were. A Fortnite game. They need to be dropped out of uh, 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 buses or airplanes. Uh, you know, they need to have, you know, everywhere from gray to gold, uh, you know, weapons. And, um, you know, they have to crank those 90s. Um, either way, nobody cares. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but... Did... Like, okay, I get it, having the stadium stampede, but then again, it's an 80,000 plus audience. How is the stadium itself going to figure into this? If anything, this is the one match i the one match type I wouldn't have done. 
Well, I mean, you can't do anarchy in the arena. It's a stadium. But the fact is, is that they're clearly going to go all over the place. Oh, yeah. This is Instead, like a five-minute match. Yeah. So how exactly do they plan on showing it to everybody that's in the stadium? This is the one match where it pays, where it's more advantageous to be a viewer at home. Oh yeah. Or or someone in the suites. <laughs> that too. Yes, because they have the TVs in there. Yes. But I mean, how? Like that would be so weird. You're at Wembley Stadium for All In. You're in the suites, and what's on TV? All in. So who wins the match? Uh, either way, we all lose. Um, but uh, they made such a big deal about uh, you know uh, Pratt, Pratt, uh, Pout and Priderful um, that yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta be the BCC and, uh, those, the, the, the two Hispanic guys. All right, Calico. I thought it was Joel Santana at first, but I guess, uh, we'll go with the Joel Santana guy. Yeah, that guy. Get, get set, get set. But it's just like the ocean under the moon. But it's the same as the emotion that I get from you. That's three for the combat wombat. Next match. Tag Team Coffee match. Debbie Allen and Stung versus The Swarthmore. <laughs> and Christian hey, What? Coleco and I are laughing our asses off at that because <laughs> we know who Debbie Allen is. Yes. Yeah. I love for kids. The guy that the, the, the guy that owes me money, according to somebody. <laughs> Debbie Allen, the choreographer, who <laughs> had that sitcom with LL Cool J on NBC. Well, she's wrestling with, um, you know, English um, and then, make a star sting. Yeah, I mean the fact that they took. AR Fox out of this. Um, and also, anybody else now find it weird that Christian Cage is now aligning with Brian Cage? And they're bringing in Nick Cage to uh, manage them? But it's, that's Gage, not Cage. Oh, Nick Cage. Oh, I could eat a peach for hours. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's certainly going to be one hell of a face-off. It will. It's um, going to be hard to leave that rock. So I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna call for a Nick Wayne heel turn. Oh. They're stupid enough to do it. And you speak it into existence. They're pu- They're trying to push Nick Wayne to the moon. And it's failing. I mean, do they want him to born on impact or freeze in space? I. (laughs) (laughs) Like, Tony is so interested in trying to make an instant star. He's gonna like do it kid, with the like, night with a nineteen year old kid. Yeah. No. I mean if anything Remember had, the hook, everybody? I mean if they were gonna make a mega star immediately, it was gonna be action and ready. Uh no, he's uh he's actually been taped for the uh episode of Collision that's airing uh that aired um well, depending on when this gets posted, it either aired already or is airing now because he's in a uh, six-man tag with uh, uh, Reynolds and John Silver against somebody. 
Oh, gee, that'll put us in seats. It was Tate. Wait a minute, Collision is Tate? Yes, uh, Collision is uh, Tate from, because uh, they were in Duluth. Um, yeah, yeah Collision. They only spent one day in, um, they only spent one day in England, and then I'll get the fuck out. Talk about getting your money's worth. I, I will say I will say this. I do think we have to talk about at least the ROH tag title match on Zero Hour. I was going to wait until we got to the okay. uh, to the match, okay. but um, okay. I'm okay with talking okay. about it now. No, 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 no. We can save it until the main event. That's absolutely fine. All right, then uh, Darby Allen and Sting, Sports Star, Christian, uh, Cuban. Uh, you know, either it's a nick, either it's a Nick Wayne heel turn, or it's an AR Fox double cross, triple cross again. Kalika? Something. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, swerving, swerving Christian. Okay. Kalika. Are we still waiting on, like, the heel turn from Sting? No. Or Darby Allen? No? Okay, okay. Yeah. That's not going to happen? Okay, so then, swerve. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Especially since Sting has gone back to being crazy Sting. Joker Sting. Like, Joker Sting? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hell no, they're losing. <laughs> Get ready to take this L. We got the biggest match in all of history. We have Juicy Couture Robinson and Jay, son of Paul White, with Kolkatska Take Shitta versus Kanasaki Take Shitta. Kodaka Bushi, ha- uh, Hangman Page, right. and Twinkle Toes McTwinkle Fuck. <laughs> Who went Skittle? What? Twinkle, Twinkle, Twinkle. Have you been? Have you been? Have you been like smoking my secret stash? I know. I think he's been drinking because uh, that's some. God, had a couple. What, what are they putting the water there, man? Um, oh yeah, we are under boiling water advisory, so he might be going off that water, water, like right. Master P said. What a what a what a coulda shoulda. Uh, uh, I think it this will end in a six way orgy that results in the forming of Bullet Club Platinum. Uh, either either that or Kenny and Ibushi are gonna be forever stuck making out after. Uh, uh, yeah, Jay White, or, or even Robinson reveals he's got like a m- super makeout gun. Will you stop it? <sighs> Clearly, you know, you know, if certain people could get over, you know, their issues, the this is not the match that should be. This is just. And I, and I can't believe I'm saying this about Kenny Omega. This is filler. Oh, yeah. Either way, Golden Elite. Can you go in with the heels? Yeah. They're... <laughs> really? They're heels? I mean, Juice Robinson don't scream face to me. Juicy Couture doesn't scream face to me. The, the fact, Don, Don Callis doesn't scream face. He just screams bald. Pretty much. I can make the argument that uh, Don Carlos is old face. He doesn't even have a body. We don't know where the the face ends and the forehead begins. Right. I mean, he had to have all a body because when the security dude knocked him the fuck out, he had to land on something. That was me. I hit him. 
Here we go. Oh, no. Twinkle toes or take a shit? <sighs> take a what shit. If, what if, but you know what? 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 <laughs> take a okay. shit. What if I twinkle my toes while I take a shit? Yeah, you know, because you twinkle your toes when you're sitting on the toilet too long and it's numb. So you got to twinkle your toes, you know, keep your feet from falling asleep. You, you, anybody ever No, that's just me? No? Yeah, I just scream at them, wake up! <laughs> yeah, you know, the snooze button ain't hitting on your toe? Okay, okay. But yeah, go no, no. I mean, it's basically them saying, hey, we got you here. Time for us to get that win. Um, I think you're crazy. I think Kenny Omega did not fly all the way to England, get back with his boyfriend, teaming with the drunk guy in front of 80,000 people just to lose to take a shit off in Jay White. This is why it's gonna end with an Ibushi Omega makeout session. Yeah, and then they go their merry way and get golden showers. Hey, hey you stole my joke! <laughs> uh, they're gonna celebrate with a god oh, damn it. Who likes golden showers? I do. If you good, you might get it for Christmas. Christmas? <laughs> my, my man sent her. Thank you, Kel. Who likes golden showers? I do. Yeah. Women's fall, fatal four way for the women's uh, world title. Tony with an I versus Soraya, don't call me Soraya, follow Paige, versus Rick, never seen her big off. And what? The champion. How is that, a, how is that even a joke? Never no, seen her big As in, she's never seen the people who make her loaves of bread? Never seen her big girl. Oh my, oh god. Oh. Oh god, that was. Oh god, you know what? I revoke your membership in the terrible joke club. Oh, um, now the question is. You try to be witty on your, on your feet. Hey. <laughs> I'm witty on my feet when I'm sitting on my ass, when I'm on my back, when I'm, well, you know, when I'm, when I'm underneath your great great grandmother. Ten seconds ago, your feet was asleep on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you promised not to tell. Um, the question is: Are they going to favor? You know the you know the the Brits with the bad teeth, uh, and the you know sex tapes and OnlyFans accounts. Or are they going to favor Soraya and Tony Storm? Ah! Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, Honestly, I think Soraya has no place in this match whatsoever. Uh, the only reason she's in there is because she's British. Well, I'll tell you what. If we see uh, Brad Maddox or Xavier Woods in a camera, run. So who do you got to win the match? I'm... Um, I'm gonna say Cheetah, but I know, I know it's not gonna, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be Sarai, but I'm going with Cheetah. Sarai did not jump in a cab. Fly all the way to London with all of her sex tapes in hand. <laughs> To just get her ass whooped. Yeah, she uh, uh, she she uh, flew Xavier Woods Airlines. Thank you for riding Xavier. Have a nice trip. Stop it. Yeah, I heard the wood the the his chairs were hard as wood. Ah! 
going with Soraya. Ah, I mean, that's the whole reason she's there, right? I mean, you know, it's the you know, it's the catcher and Soraya. They they want their British bulldog moment. Yeah, I guess so. That's what the main <laughs> event supposed. That's what the main event's supposed to be. I mean, uh, if we're talking about you know bulldog moment, I don't think we're gonna get it with Soraya. We'll get some other type of dog, but um, you know, not bulldog. Um, that being said, I'm going with you. Um, the match everybody never knew, they never wanted. Will Ospreay versus Chris Jericho. Oh. Why, is, why is this even a match? It shouldn't have been a match. That being said, Jericho. Coleco? It's got to be Jericho, right? Osprey ain't got no... No business here. Like, it, it. The story was with him and Don Callis. Osprey was just like the middleman. Yeah, definitely. but the middleman must pay. No, they're going with Osprey this match. Really? You think Osprey's gonna win? Oh yeah. He he didn't sign off on to be in this match if he wasn't gonna win. No, nah, if it was Zack Saber Jr., I would definitely agree with you, but. I was afraid that, like he could take a little hell or two. Um, maybe Osprey from like three years ago, but Will Osprey right now, the egomaniac that he is, tough now. I mean, he took it to he took an L from Kenny, Japan's favorite son, not named Okada, and Nakamura. But he beat Kenny the last time they wrestled. That's my point. He always gets that first one, and it's going to be a 50-50. Um, I don't think we'll He likes to get back. He's not losing in his hometown. His home country. No, he's not. All right. Mm. We got the real world championship match between Rick Rabies and Sweet Tea. Ah, so you are watching Heels. No, but uh, I know know that he's (laughs) on it. I know he's on it, so who wins? Kojima! Lariat! Kojima! Um, You know, if this was, you know, a certain... If this was a different era... I'd say it matters, but it doesn't here. It just it just doesn't. So, but I'll say I I will say yeah, punk. Calico. Sam Punk did not. No, I'm just playing. This punk. Come on, man. Really? He's just doing that to like show respect. And he's going to show them what a real wrestling match looks like. Not like the ones that they do that flippy shit. Because I've been in WWE. I've been in WrestleMania. Thank Send me the, um, yeah. Go ahead with, um, Punk, obviously. Then we have the Trio six, six Man Championship. Milwaukee Black. Don't call me buddy. Pal, Matt Hughes. Broker King, collectively known as the House of Black, the most black members. They're fighting um, black guys in their white dad, the acclaimed, and really dumb. Who wins for the yeah. I had an idea uh, if, for if, uh, you know, if Billy wasn't coming back, and I. And I told, and I put it on Reddit, I said, alright, bear with me on this. I got four words that could probably save this if Billy doesn't come back. And those four words are, scissor me, Uncle Bart. 
Oh, God. <laughs> what? Bob Dunn isn't in pro wrestling anymore, is he? <laughs> I mean, he could be, if you know. I mean, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, no, no, oh, nah. Only if Butterbean is involved. <laughs> no, Butterbean is involved. He did definitely not. Yeah. Well, I thought Butterbean was dead. No, he's alive. <laughs> so who wins? House of Black or the Queen? Uh, be acclaimed, and, and you have to new champions. Coleco. I guess I'm the only one that's qualified to say it. It's black on black crime. Um, <laughs> so, with that being said, I am going with. The House of Black to retain. I'm going with the Acclaim. Then we have the Tag Team Championship match. Dax Hardwood and Cass. Um, Prison Hard and Cass. AK47 AK, AK Wheel. <laughs> that fashion check Wheeler. Versus the Middle Aged <laughs> Bucks. Who wins? Scooter. Rogaine wins. Um, uh, God, what was the... Uh, hmm. uh, FTR to retain. Well, I was going to say dad bods win, but... Uh, but, but yeah, you know, F, it's FTR. It's it's FTR, especially now because he the buzz is you know, Mister Tech Nine Wheeler over here. I'm thinking the young bucks didn't frame Cash Wheeler for aggravated assault for them to lose this match. If they felt there was a chance that they were going to lose. Obviously, you know, I've been thinking about it, and I definitely think that they framed uh, Cash Wheeler for um, what was going on. They paid that guy. Um, their pettiness shows no bounds. That being said, they're definitely fucking winning this match because they're vice presidents and they want to. No, uh, rebuttal? No. Alright. Brings us to the championship match, AEW World Championship match. Um, Matthew Pat, Jacob Freeman versus The Bunch. Um, before we do get into this match, like, uh, Scooter was saying, they're opening the show. And when I mean opening the show, they're on the pre show. They're wrestling Assy Open, Kyle Fletchlins, and Mark Davis. And they might be going into this match as Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. Why? Because fuck them. That's why. Fuck who? Us with common sense. Yeah, fuck you, common sense. Yeah, fuck common sense. Yeah, we don't need to. No, we don't. We don't. A AEW has been anything but common sense. Do you think... You know, this is a great question. What do you think is going to be the better match? Ozzy Open and better than you, or the actual main event? Scooter. Hopefully the actual main event. 
Yeah, that's the hope because it. <laughs> why would your opening? Why would the opening match be better than the main event? That would be a shitty. And it's the same person, so that just tells you, you know. I guess they're trying to pull a Daniel Bryan. I, I, no double they're, duty. They're trying to evoke uh, Brett and the uh, Brett Bulldog feelings. What I don't know why. How? Because Bulldog and Brett never tagged like that before. Yeah, they but, but but they were they were both faces, and now we have to consider Max a face going into this. Oh gosh, he's never okay. Well, I told you once the bell rings. Yeah. Honestly, they're just playing who's going to stab each other first. And it should be Adam. It should. I mean, he's better than Jacob at doing it. He has a history. Yeah. He's done it a lot more times to people way closer to him. He's got a PhD in backstabbery of the Who wins the match? MJF or Cole? Scooter. I here's what I think happens. I think it I think I think it's gonna be Cole and Raw and Strong and the Kingdom there are gonna you know form almost like the new Undisputed Era. But then MJF, after being so vulnerable, and finally, you know, seeing the value of friendship, who makes the save for MJF? Wardlow. Well, you think they would put Wardlow in such a high uh, prospect? I think so, if he can get a couple of power bomb symphonies off. Mm. Especially to Roderick with the you know the busted neck. So Cole for a win? Scooter? What? Uh uh yeah, Cole to win. Kalika? It's got to be cold away. I mean, common sense tells you that it should be cold because why would I be all cleaned up to you just to betray you? But watch AEW do some weird shit and make it a draw and then they have to draw it out to all out and all this other shit. So watch. Just watch. And, and in other news, a riot broke out in... Uh in southern LA, uh, I mean England, same difference. Uh, How dare you? We have so many better riots than England does. Hell yeah, we do. Yeah, we're not for riots. I mean, America was born on riot. Yeah, we were born to riot. My favorite. I am the riot. riot. Oh. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Uh, MJF to retain. Then Roman Reigns comes out, beats the piss ah. out of both of them. Triple threat at all, uh, all out. Roman Reigns wins the AEW uh, championship and then holds it forever. Oh, uh, shit. You know, you actually probably just talked something into existence that probably is going to happen, just not with that. Just not with Roman. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I can't believe I didn't see this. Punk. It's... Yeah, oh my god. You know, Cole to win... Or, you know what? Screw it. 
No contest. Oh. No. I just told you. They're going to do some draw, flunky, and flunky that, shit. But he's still, but he's still make out. motherfuckers flat out. Oh, and, it, and playing the part of Roman Reigns, Wardlow. No. 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 In all actuality, one of them is going to betray the other one, and then we're going to have like a no disqualification that match between the both, both of them at all out. That's how it's going to end up. This, or I'm going to actually put, I'm going to put another scenario. What if Cole thinks that, you know, Strong of the Kingdom have aligned with him, and then they just turn around and attack Cole? A double, t- a double turn. Hmm. That's what I always felt with this, is that a double turn was coming. I think you're giving these guys too much credit that, you know, they're smart enough to come up with this here. Oh, if they have too much credit, they're over their limit. Oh, wait, wrong wrong company, wrong event. People power. Oh, God, I, I don't know why, but I watched the, the, uh, the 2020 Money in the Bank match. God help me. Why? Because it was on the WWE channel on Peacock. Again, why? Because I needed something to watch while I, you know, beat the crap out of Tiger Woods in golf. I mean, watch Twisted Metal. It was a great fucking show. That's the most I did. I watched it the first day. Watch it again. <laughs> but we're getting the of ourselves. I'm going to Adam Cole. We're all three in there and Adam Cole. Before we end this, is anybody excited for this event? Like, Scooter, are you, is there a match you're anticipating? Are you giving uh, them the benefit of the doubt? Do you feel like this could maybe have... Is there any sense of optimism in your mind? I, I don't, I don't want to get up at the crack of 1pm to watch this, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, this, it's, it's not that, it's not that I want to see it fail, but I kind of do want to see it fail. Coleco? The problem is, if this was just, um, if it was a standalone and nobody really like it, it after it. Oh, it was going into a tunnel. Oh. Yeah. So it's Calico, we didn't hear it's tricky. It's um. Can you hear me? Hold on. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Continue from the beginning. There. Uh, I don't think if it was just by itself a show, hell yeah. But the fact that it's the their biggest show is going to be right after it, it's no point. It's like having Crown Jewel a week before WrestleMania. Like, why? Just to say you did it. Which tells me that they're, they're scheduling all that money Tony Khan has, and he can't even get a proper group to schedule their fucking itineraries. You also have to remember that, you know, the, you know, the, the real event all out is, you know, one week later, and, you know, they've got bigger matches on that show than 
they could ever hope for, you know, a stadium show. I mean, Nero against Powerhouse Hobbs. Oh, yeah. And, and Luchasaurus against, you know, Debbie Allen. I cannot contain myself. How excited I am. I mean, and now that Jack Perry's heel, why isn't he back with Luchasaurus? Because didn't he that is true. Christian. Well, all right, fine. I will join AEW. I will manage Jack Perry, and my name will be Jewish. Jewish Jack Perry? No. Jack Perry and his manager, Jewish. <laughs> okay. Against Luchasaurus and his manager, Christian. I got you. Jews and Christian. Got it. Yeah. What about Buddha? Uh. <laughs> stop, stop, stop making up words. Uh, or atheist. Atheist. That would be the one. Scientologists. <laughs> or, or who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll get Leatherface again. Oh God. Possibly. That stupid fucking death match. That will conclude our coverage of All In. Next week we will be reviewing it. God have mercy on our souls. Is it all in or is it just Wembley? All it's in. all in London. Yeah. Oh, Jesus it. Christ. That's like CSI New Orleans. No one gave a shit. It's still too, too, too young of a company for a stadium show. That will conclude our coverage of AEW All In. And we are wrestling with WWE Payback. It's one week from today. It's Ooh. in uh, Pennsylvania and the PPG Paint Arena. And there's dream matches confirmed. So let's get into it. Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus in a steel cage match. Scooter. I mean, I, I don't exactly know why we're waiting to why, why we're doing this now. Um, there's five actually. Uh, the, Cl Becky's got to got to win to close this out, and it's got to end here. Becky. Coleco. Becky for the closeout. For the closeout. Oh. Women's Championship match, Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Gonzalez, Cuban Scooter. <laughs> Raquel Rodriguez. Uh, oh, my girl Sheasel is, uh, is, uh, coming up short. Rhea wins. Kalika? It's gonna be two girls bumping meat, and Rhea's gonna get the win. Um, yeah, I agree. I think this is finally, this is the first match she's had since beating Charlotte, honestly. If we're being honest here. I mean, you don't count the chocolate? You don't, you don't count the chocolate? Mm, I don't count the chocolate, no. Oh, boo. You know, you, you know what, I'm going to take you back and I'm going to spank you with the chocolate. Yeah, the chocolate. I definitely don't count the, the blowout on Natty. Oh, Jesus, yes. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Get it, dirty. We got The Miz versus LA Knight. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Kaliko, what's your favorite group? I don't think this is going to be a squash. Uh, who's gonna win? So. Yeah, yeah. Let me talk to you. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. L.A. Knight also made a Damian Sandow reference last night in his promo. Hmm. Saying that even when Miz had a stunt double, the stunt double was the star. That's true. So, that was true. Let me talk to you. United States Championship match, Rey Mysterio versus Austin Theory. Who wins? Scooter. Uh, not Austin, Massachusetts. Um, the Austin Red Sox. Um, uh, considering that Santos Escobar is probably going to be involved. And I believe they're actually doing the Grayson Waller effect at payback with Cody as the guest. Um, I think, I think theory, I think theory's going to take it back. If not Santos, maybe with a heel turn, uh, also, you have to also take into account the fact that uh, John Cena is returning to SmackDown next week. This is correct. And the rumor is, uh, since that's in uh, also in Pennsylvania, that they might be building to uh, Cena Waller for WrestleMania 40. Oh God, no! So you're going with theory? I'm. I'm gonna go with theory. Kalika. It's odd that theory has been irrelevant with the title. Maybe the loss kind of give him the edge back. Uh, it has to be theory, right? Because I think Santos, if Santos is going to turn, the title wouldn't be the reason for the turn. It would be a cause, but not the reason. So, uh, let's see. Let's give theory another shot. Let's see if he can actually do something this time. And prove Cena wrong, because that could be the case, too. Cena's coming back, telling theory that he was right. You ain't relevant. I mean, I think I don't. I don't know if if Cena is gonna be involved with Waller. I I'm thinking he actually might be involved. Uh. It's it's depending on whether or not Edge considered his match with Sheamus his last. Uh, uh, because if we're not, if we're not getting Rock Roman, uh, I think I think the Rock and Edge is a good uh, good dream match that can still be possible. The Rock and Edge? Why? Edge of the Rock coming soon. I mean, because not only are they names of movies Nicolas Cage has been in, uh, um, <laughs> but they never actually had a one-on-one -on -one match. That is true. They never crossed paths. Weird when you think about it. I'm sure they had tag team matches, but that's no, they had tag. No, they had they had no, matches yeah, tag team tag. matches, but like not tag matches where they tag together. No, against uh, against uh, I believe I believe it was Eddie and Benoit. Oh, oh but Brock and Edge also, but. We, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I'm not sure if they could take the 
give why could they give Rey Mysterio the United States Championship just to take it off of him two weeks later? Because because it's a comparison uh, with Dom. Yes, that was the one up Dom, not the. But technically, if you really think about it, Dom has a superior title because Dom has North American title, yes. while Ray only includes fifty states. Yes, Dom covers Canada, Mexico, he covers the continent, Guam, <laughs> uh, American Samoa. Yeah. He's only, he's only America. No. And he's only Augusta, Georgia. I don't think Gary is going to win this one. I think they wouldn't have given Ray the belt just to make him lose it two weeks later. I but think. also the fact that this wasn't supposed to be Ray Mysterio. Oh, yeah, wasn't this supposed to be Escobar? It was, it was supposed to be Escobar. Escobar. Yeah, but I don't think... We all know that Ray got injured before the match, that, during that match with Escobar. So we, for all we know, Escobar was supposed to lose that match, and this was supposed to be Ray Mysterio all along. Mm. It was just a detour. Y- yes, but, yeah, but then... But then Escobar gets attacked the night of the match, and suddenly Rey Mysterio is back in. Yeah, that makes no sense. It's so, WWE logic. I'm, I'm, I'm also afraid of the fact that they may actually start forming a group with Theory and Waller. Waller's Theory. Good. Th- love that. <laughs> and they're pretty deadly. Well, uh, Man, well, they, they're on a milk, milk card right now. Because, well, um, well, we should, we should hire Brizongo. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, hey, you know, Tyler Bree still works with him. And you just since, you know, Nick... No, he's still working with him. No, he's fine. Well, he got the lease. Um, there is very much rumor and innuendo that this is match is going to take place, and that's the Intercontinental Championship match, Gunther versus Chad Gable. Gunther like, Gable 2. Technically, three. Um, hypothetically speaking, if this match does take place, theoretically, who wins Scooter? Uh, I mean, they... They took a big risk... In in actually having Gable beat Gunther by a countout, which is Gunther's first loss since being called up to the main roster. Right. I mean, Gable and Alpha Academy in general are really, they're really starting to win over the fans. And I'm, I'm liking Gable a lot more. It's, oh man. Uh, but we know that they're into breaking records, and Gunther will retain. Gunther would have already had the record if he going into this match, no? I I believe he's got a couple of more days. I think he. I think by month. I think. I think by Labor Day. It's either this, the next coming Monday, or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I would. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they let Gunther hit it and then Gable just takes it. Yeah, yeah. 
Calico, who wins? Gable or Gunko? I'm guessing... Santa's got to break the record. So, Gunther. You also have to remember that uh, things are uh, not exactly all copacetic within Imperium. This is true. Yeah. But this has like always been the year of breakups. Everybody's breaking up right now. You know what? I'm going with Gable. I think Gable's going to win. Um, we're definitely not getting J- Jimmy versus J at this event, no? No. Yeah. Hell no. And that leads us to... But I don't think that's going to happen anyway. I, I felt because the reason that Jimmy gave seemed very plausible. It wasn't like fuck you, Jay, or like, I care about you, Jay. No, it was more like, I don't know what I'll do without you, Jay. Let me suckle on your teeth a little more, Jay. Don't let me be the Janetti, Jay. James A. <laughs> James A. <laughs> Janetti. Jimmy Janetti Uso. Oh, you stole it from me. <laughs> Took my my joke, Jimmy Janetuso. See, we've been we've been witty all our lives, man. We got picked on in high school, unlike you. So that leads us to I the got hella picked on in high school. So, uh, well, heavyweight I championship don't... match: Seth freaking Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. If this isn't the actual main event, the thing that goes on last. They it's, have a real fucking problem with this title, yeah. don't they? Little. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be the main event. I can guarantee that. Then what does? Becky and Trish. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see you. Well, that's the we. Sorry, we fucked you over at SummerSlam. Here, have the main event at this pay per view. Yep. So does this at least go on first? And Seth, and Seth, look, seems like the type of motherfucker to be like, "Fuck it, I'll let my wife go on." I mean, if if they have. If they have, like, damage control against, you know, Bianca, Charlotte, and I, I, I don't know what other matches that, but, you know, they're, they're spending, spending on time on putting an interview segment in the event, so... Yeah, you know, it's like they know. Kids are going to go back to school, so... Here, kids, have a card that sucks! Set to retain, Nakamura to win. Uh... I don't... I don't think this is going to be the, uh, uh... This is not a one-off. Uh, you know, when Nakamura, you know, whispered the thing to... Seth, I really thought he had said you I really thought he said something along the lines of you better look after Becky. Hmm. Cause I know he said something that sounded like Becky. But no, he said, I know about your back. Yes. Well, does he know about his front? Or his side. But but this throws me off because I thought Nakamura remembered years ago. I no speak uh, English. But that was years ago. You got those other stuff. I know. 
I know he likes some cigarettes. No speak English. So you're going with the set? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yep. Calico? I'm gonna go with this. So we got twenty dollars. Uh. I'm gonna rock with Seth. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, if they didn't have Seth lose to a red hot Finn, it was never gonna happen. So, Seth keeps establishing the title. Selfishly, I want Nakamura to win. I know. <laughs> Th- that I I agree with. Straight up, he should have won at uh, thirty four. Thirty four? Yeah, it was thirty four. Yeah. That will conclude our coverage of WWE Oh. Join us in two weeks as we review that so Next week we will be reviewing all in, uh, previewing all out, and whatever stupid shit happens in between. That will conclude this episode. Thank you for listening. If you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, comment. Put on YouTube Task Box. This is sponsored by the Energy and Play Coffee. Join us this Tuesday as we interview Little Jane. Join us this Wednesday as we interview Ryan Curran. Um, follow the show at Wrestling with you, but on Twitter and Instagram for interviews. We're interviewing, then we're interviewing, then we're interviewing, then we're interviewing, then we're interviewing, more. Follow me personally at Jane2993. Where can we find Felico? It's not Twitter, it's X. And I would know because I posted on X. See, I am Felico. Look at that. Progress. Baby steps. It's the first time you posted in nine months. Hey, man. It took a hell of a week for me to do it. <laughs> Scooter. So as always, find me on X at Scooter Dust. Keep an eye out to the social medias for any uh, upcoming news on the remix. And always revel in my Judge of the Dragons antics along with Rico Costello Jr. and the rest of the Smoking Dragons clan Twitch TV. Back to the Smoking Dragons. Welcome to the Scooter Dust. I'm James Jay, and this has been Judge of the Dragons. Entertainment. Hey folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. Enjoy the show, support these guys, we appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.